Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today is a little bit of a different video for me. Um, I am doing like a makeup tutorial, but I'm gonna do a very minimal makeup look. I'm gonna use as few products as I can and just get the most natural, like no makeup makeup look that I can get. So I've had several requests for this type of a video, so I'm excited to finally get to do it today. So if you are a returning Dollar Diva, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Jessica and I love to do a lot of Dollar Store and Dollar Tree oriented makeup and shopping content. So if that's your thing, you are definitely in the right place. I've been at this for quite a while with all these Dollar Tree like makeup videos and things. So if you've been waiting for a channel like mine, definitely go check out the description box and I will have a bunch of content listed below various playlists and all that kind of thing. So definitely check that out and give all those a binge watch after you're done watching this. And yeah, without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. Like, so y'all know normally I like to do a lot of steps. I like to do my eyebrows. I like to clean up with concealer. I do lashes, some kind of eyeshadow look, all, you know, contour, all the crazy stuff. Today's just super, super simple. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and start with my eyebrows and I'm just gonna lightly fill in my eyebrows. I'm gonna go much lighter than I normally would. And you could use, if you have really nice eyebrows, like my eyebrows are very short, very sparse. Um, so I can't really use one of these types of products, but if you have one and can use one because you have beautiful brows, you can either A, leave your brows alone or use like one of those brow gel, either clear or one that matches your brow shade. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my trusted pencil and just get a really, really light eyebrow look. I'm gonna sharpen it too. And I'm using the LA Colors, my new favorite, the LA Colors Brow Pencil and Eyeliner in one, the one that comes with a little sharpener. And I've, I've done minimal makeup looks before. Sometimes if I'm in like a really big hurry and I do wanna look like I have a little something going on, I will do a very light, no makeup, makeup look. I don't do it very often, but. See, I'm just going very, very minimal with my brows. But see the difference? Like, I need a little something with my brows, you know what I mean? And I'm actually gonna brush it out a little bit. And sometimes when you brush it out, it kind of, it'll smudge the, the color so it even softens up even more. So there we go, that's like all I'm gonna do with my brows. I'm just going on a very, very light hand. This is a far cry from what I normally do. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna really, really like this and probably prefer it on me. <laughs> It's the showbiz in me though. I like, I, if I do wear makeup, I do tend to go all out. Although, like I said, if I really feel like I need to like wear a little bit of makeup for something, I, I am capable of doing a, like a very minimal look. I just don't do it nearly as often. I think I have them about even. I feel like it's, they're a little uneven, but it will like always kind of come together. So yeah, so those are like the brows I feel like I should have, but I don't. So I'm not, so today's gonna be like a no foundation look. Of course, if you can't get away with no foundation, then definitely, you know, obviously you can add your favorite foundation. Um, I'm just gonna conceal where I need to conceal. Also too, um, like a like a light, like a tinted moisturizer or something like that. So the Candy Moyo or, you know, previously Sassy Chic New Color, their BB cream, I feel actually wears more like a foundation. Sometimes if I want like a super natural, like a really, really natural look, I'll use Maybelline's BB cream. So I'm gonna just use some concealer, but you could totally wear a little bit of foundation. So I'm just gonna go in and conceal kind of where I just, just where I feel I need a little bit of extra coverage, a little bit on my lids, around my eyes. I'm just gonna take my brush, my concealer brush. I'll probably go in with my beauty blender. See, I'm just gonna go a little bit down my cheeks, get rid of a little bit of that redness. So like I said, this just depends on your skin. And then I'm just gonna kind of a little extra blot with my damp blender. I need to do my roots. I'm like doing them either later today or tomorrow. <laughs> but I am in like desperate need of doing my roots. So there we go. Like I said, you just do your foundation or concealer, or tinted moisturizer to what you like. But that's what I'm gonna do for me today. And you can do this in any order that you want. Since I'm not doing like a complicated um, eyeshadow look, I can just kind of go in whatever step that I want. I'm gonna go into the LA Colors Six Pan Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm not gonna do like a complicated eye look, but I'm just gonna pop like a little bit, probably a little bit of the shimmer 
on my lid just to add a little bit of a, like just a little bit of a brightness. So here's a product that I just used in my last makeup video. It's not new to the Dollar Tree, but the slightly shimmery formula is kind of new to the Dollar Tree. It's the LA Colors Contour Stick in Light. And I'm gonna be using this for my inner corner just to brighten up my eyes. I'm gonna use this a little bit for under my brow bone. I'm gonna probably use this as a very subtle highlight. And um, just, yeah, this is gonna probably pop up a couple times in this video. So I'm just gonna right now just pop this into the inner corner and smudge it. Smudge is very, very nice. See, it just kind of brightens up the inner corner just a little bit. Like I said, this is kind of a no makeup makeup look. So anything we can do to just brighten and enhance what we already have. Probably pop just a little bit under here since I did not really, just to accentuate the brow bone a little bit. See, it just adds a little something, but nothing over the top. And something like this, they're even precision, it doesn't really matter. You just put it on and just blend with your finger. I think that's another beauty to having a minimal look is that it's just something you can kind of swipe on your face, you know? I don't know if swipe is a word. I know swipe is, but I don't know if swipe with an H is a word, but. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna go into that middle shade here. This is the hot color story. And I'm just gonna kind of just pop a little bit of that. Just I'm just gonna use my finger. Just pop a little bit of that. You could use any shade really that's in this palette. Just. A little bit of the tan if you wanted to. You could kind of just cut out your crease a little bit, you know, just put a little bit to define your eye. This is actually a very pigmented color, but I'm kind of going very light with my finger. I think I am gonna go into like that really, really light shade right there in the top middle. And I'm gonna just go with a really light hand and tap off my brush like that and just define my crease just a little bit. Not much, just a little something. See, that's just a tiny, little little bit and that's it that is all I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna do any liner or anything like that I'm just gonna pop on some brown mascara brown mascara is really good for this purpose for like a like a kind of a more minimal natural makeup look but of course you can use black if you feel you must line your eyes of course you can line your line your eyes but I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of mascara again if you're new to my channel I have not been impressed with Dollar Tree um, mascaras over the years. So this one has come along by Be Pure, the hydrating. It's a dupe for the Neutrogena, I guess, I think Hydra Boost mascara. It's a dupe for one of their mascaras. And I've never used their mascara, but this is the best mascara I have found from the Dollar Tree. Mind you, I have really sparse, short lashes that are only made worse by my daily use for my job of false lashes. I'm an entertainer, so I wear false lashes. And they do rip out my eyelashes, so I have even less than I should. <laughs> so I put on two coats of that mascara. So far, very minimal. I only have three more products that I'm using, too. So I'm gonna skip the blush, and like I said, the, the sparkly highlight. I might go back in with that contour stick, just brighten up some areas, but I'm like really just gonna like work this like tan thing. Um, so I'm just gonna use a cream bronzer today. This one here is really nice from LA Colors. It's from the Mad For You collection. This is in Sunflower. Um, they have another one that comes with, um, I've got a doe foot um, with the, the two cheeky line. Those are nice. You can also use one of their powder formulas, one of their matte bronzers. Those are excellent as well. I'm gonna use a damp blender sponge. So LA Colors, if you can't find this, they have a bunch of um, really great bronzer products at the Dollar Tree. Because of course this is a Dollar Tree minimal makeup look today. See, and this just blends so beautifully. And I'm just gonna apply it kind of as needed. The thing I, and I've been loving cream products lately too. They just, they just look so dewy and natural, melting into the skin. So I've just been really, I thought for a minimal look, this was just a wonderful formula to go, go for. Of course, if you have oily skin, you might wanna wear a powder product. Of course, if you have dry skin, you might want a cream product. So this will help you look dewy and very natural. And see, it's just a nice glow. It just kind of looks like I've been a little bit in the sun, you know? You could probably, in a pinch, even use a little bit of that as like an eyeshadow, give your eyes some like depth. So I'm just gonna take my little contour stick again, and I'm just gonna kind of add a little bit of, add a little bit of non-glittery highlight See, it just adds a little something. 
See, just really, really nice. Very, very, very subtle, but really nice. So two more steps. I'm just gonna use a touch of pressed powder. This one here is from Ellie Colors. It's in the shade Nude. And I'm gonna use this brush here that I um, hauled from Dollar Tree. Um, I've been using it for my blush, my bronzer. It can be used for powder. It's from Sassy Chic. And it's really very nice for $1.25. It's kind of nice that they have like a bigger brush like this. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of powder. I don't wanna make this really matte or anything. I'm just gonna put a little bit kind of on my T-zone. Very, very, very little. That's all I'm doing. That is it. So one more step. So of course, Dollar Tree has all kinds of lip glosses and lip balms and um, natural color lipsticks. The LA Colors has lots of moisturizing lip glosses that are in like pinks and peaches and clear. Um, Ioni makes a clear lip gloss. So you just use whatever makes you feel natural or minimal. In a lot of ways, I would probably just end up using like my chapstick. But I do have these products here from Ioni. They're the tinted lip balms. I have the one that's a little bit more pink. But I'm going with the one that's a little bit more peach today. And I have no idea what the shade is. But yeah, you just use whatever makes you feel minimal. So this is like a tinted lip balm. So, And I really should use it more often. These taste and smell like something and I can never... Put my finger on it. So there we go, just something to make my lips not look so dry. So here is just a super minimal, great for summer, took me not long, what about 10 minutes or so. Eight products, all from the Dollar Tree, and so yes, it can be done. You can get a dewy, natural, minimal makeup look, and like I said, you just tailor it to your needs. But this is just the makeup look that I would use for myself personally. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, show me you did by hitting the like button. Again, go binge watch some of my related content down below in the description box, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.